There's a couple of articles I want to look at today. First one is, West announces extension of sanctions against Russia over Ukraine. And the other one is, Russia wants World War III, says Ukraine. The West announced fresh sanctions on Russia on Friday for its continued meddling in Ukraine. The need for further action was agreed in a conference call between leaders of Britain, America, Germany, France and Italy. Although new measures are expected to fall short of ones that would inflict real pain on Moscow. A Downing Street spokesman said, while they continue to hold open the door to a diplomatic resolution of the crisis, the five leaders that in the light of Russia's refusal to support the process, an extension of current targeted sanctions would need to be implemented. So, the cards are now coming out on the table. There are five people that effectively, at this moment, could start World War III. Five people. We have a situation on this planet that because so much power has been handed over to the few by years of years of political treaties, political positioning that has gone completely unnoticed and gone on in the background because the public have paid zero attention and spent their time watching fucking Coronation Street for the last 50 years. This is why we are staring down the barrel of World War III. This article goes on. Yuzhny Yitznakjuk, whatever he's called, the Ukrainian's prime minister, accused Russia of wanting to start a third world war and called for international help against Russian aggression after it emerged that Russian troops were on exercise less than a mile from the border. All it's going to take for this to kick off and for those five people to start World War III is for those five people to decide that, say, an attack on a government building in eastern Ukraine was one step too far, or a military exercise was too provocative, and away we go. I know people will say, oh Slipknot, that won't happen, X on the beach starts soon, just chill out man, put some odd socks on and wear some really tight trousers, everything's gonna be okay. But what you have to consider is that these five people all want war. They all need war. What would a third world war do right now, apart from kill millions of people? Well, it would distract from the coming financial collapse. It would give an excuse for the financial collapse. It will make people in their country rally around their flag and their leader. It will keep the population living in fear, making them easier to control. It will also make a lot of people an awful lot of money, namely bankers. Bob Dole, the former presidential candidate, spoke openly the other day about starting World War III. When people start talking openly about starting World War III, I get seriously concerned. Seriously concerned because what they're doing is they're planting the seed in the public's mind. They're chipping away bit by bit, mention it here, mention it there. All of a sudden, the public subconsciously Oh yeah, we need World War III, let's all go to war, let's all go and die. You have to remember that it was the American government and the heads of the EU that funded those neo-Nazis that overthrew a democratically elected government in Ukraine that started all this. Okay, so the government in Ukraine were corrupt. Who isn't? But at least get through to some ballots and remove them that way. Don't fund some neo-Nazis and do it that way and use it as a proxy war. America funded the rebels in Libya, who were Al-Qaeda, and they're unofficially funding the rebels in Syria, who are again Al-Qaeda. Almost everywhere you look in the world where there's trouble, America is behind it. Now, America is 100% controlled by international bankers. They're using their proxies around the world to do their fighting for them, whilst pretending to be upstanding, moralistic, and the leaders of the free world. What a load of bullshit. When you have a president that allows his own ambassador to be killed just so he can get arms to Al-Qaeda, when you have a president that will arm Mexican drug gangs and use those weapons to kill Americans, when you have a president who brags he's really good at killing people, when you have a president that fake cries on TV for the kids at Sandy Hook, when you have a president who is pissing all over the US Constitution without any redress, then you're in serious trouble as a nation. The American government, 
The government I'm talking about, not the people. The government truly is the arsehole of the planet. They are so corrupt. And they're followed closely by the EU. I warn you now, if Cameron gets a Commons vote for us to join World War III and wins, then I'm sorry, but we're going to have to remove him and his government from office any way we can. We may die trying, but if we don't try and World War III starts, then we're all dead anyway.